we are at SDCC 2016 here in the top of the Loot Crate booth. We are interviewing Malcolm Goodwin and Raul Coley from iZombie. Um, how are you guys doing? Good. Good? Doing great. Doing He's great. also good? <laughs> We're good. Um, so I guess to start off with, what is it like being part of this big new show? It's, um, it's very popular. Um, what does it feel like? Just being able to experience the. I mean, it's been. I mean, it's it's, it's been great, especially um, now approaching our third season. So just to see the awareness and the fandom grow yeah. every year, and yeah. coming to the first Comic Con, no one knowing anything about the show. Yeah. Now walking down the street and everyone's like, "I love iZombie. Yeah. You guys rock!" And people That's are just great. really into it. So it's been cool. Well, iZombie is horror comedy. Um, are you a horror fans at all? Do you watch horror films? I I can't. I can't okay, do Okay, so just I, your I character. Yeah, I honestly, it's, it's, I try, like, I play, like, horror video games. Yeah. Like, I play Resident Evil, yeah, and I did yeah, the yeah. PT demo, and yeah. I'll do that. But for some reason, I just can't, I can't sit through a horror. I'm, I'm too, I get too scared. I, I've seen a lot of the mainstream horror um, movies, like Night of the Living, Living Dead, yeah. Freddy Krueger, and, yeah, like, yeah. Classic, Jason, the classic, classic ones. Classic stuff. Yeah. And and quite a lot of zombie ones. Um, yeah. To my surprise, it wasn't until doing the show when people say, "Name some zombie movies," and I'm like, "I can't name. I can't name like 28 Days Later, uh, World War Z, Shaun of the Dead." Yeah. I'm like, "Yeah, I've seen them all." If you can share any details about season three, what can you share? Well, we've only we haven't started filming yet. We start okay. on Monday. Um, gotcha. But uh, there's you know it, things were ended uh, the last year. You know there was a big zombie. Uh, kind of outbreak it's still contained within Max Rager yeah so we're dealing with the after effects of that we have an introduction uh, we introduced a new big bad yeah um, so you're gonna see how that plays out yeah. and it's not I don't think it's 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 not really shades of black and white this villains a bit more gray yeah. Yeah. Um, and apparently Ravi still wants to be with Peyton but she wants the bad boy so we got the we got the love triangle always happens exactly always she happens loves the bad boys well I can't wait to find out. So what do you geek out on the most? Like, what is your thing that if, like, someone mentions it, you're going to just, like, stop and just that's your thing? You go off. Star Wars. Star Wars? Mm -hmm. Star Wars and video games is my thing. Like, yeah. it's, I'm kind of almost, it's, it, I kind of lecture and preach a lot about <laughs> video games. And it's, if you're in my company, it's really difficult to, like, not get into gaming again. Like, you used ah. to game. Yeah. Show the backpack. Show the backpack. See? Nice. Couldn't help it. He's, he's back. He's back, back. into the game. Classic. Gaming. But um. Very nice. But with like with Loot Crate, I'm. I love the t-shirts. Oh, good. Good. It's, it's the the apparel for me is like mm -hmm. like the, the best thing I like recently geeked out over was the uh, reversible Punisher Daredevil. Oh, Vini. did you love that? Awesome. I saw that picture on Instagram. Oh, I did. Yeah, yeah there yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah. I put it up. Yeah. Um, so what do you geek out about? What is your thing? That you could just sit and research for hours. You could talk about it for hours. Uh, I mean, I'm a big. Uh, uh, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a tech nerd, yeah. you know, I love, nice. uh, I'm also a filmmaker, so I'm into, nice. you know, I have I had everything from DVXs to HVXs to, nice. you know, obviously 7Ds, 5Ds. You just got that arcade cabinet we was messing around. Oh, I did, I, yeah, really? I, I, yeah, I did, yeah, I got, yeah, played some Street Fighter, some classic um, nice. old school, I'm a, I'm a fan of old school games, yeah, nice. I grew up on Pac-Man uh, and all NES games, so. Yeah. How? Who, if anyone uh, on the cast, is anything like their character? Major and Buckley share the same body. Uh oh, obviously. He trains just as hard as Major does. Yeah. Um, All right. What's the similarities? That's believable. I don't think anyone, That's believable. Know, I don't think anyone is anything like their character. Yeah. I mean, I share, but it came afterwards because <clears throat> um, <clears throat> once we started making the season, mm -hmm. because I'm such a big Star Wars fan and mm -hmm. it's the reason I became an actor and I, I yeah. love my gaming, Ravi all of a sudden started dropping Star Wars references yeah. and stuff and it was more like and you know and I think it was just them merging gotcha. the two so they scripted that for yeah. you yeah so that was kind of after the, mm -hmm. the, the, the fact but I, I didn't connect with Ravi at all like yeah high energy yeah. and super good at heart <laughs> I probably connect more with Blaine as a person than I do okay. with, with Ravi what is your schedule like for the rest of Comic Con are you guys really busy are you kind of just walking around seeing stuff it's crazy it's crazy well, <laughs> well today we've um we're presenting uh, an MTV mm -hmm. Phantom Awards. Mm -hmm. uh, we've all just got into town, mm -hmm. uh, and then tomorrow we we are literally from from seven in the morning until wow seven when it's all done. Yeah. yeah, we're hitting every press junket, and we do our panel, we do our signings, uh, and then they they get us out of here Saturday morning. 
but we don't really get to like it's, it's such a shame we, we we get so little time to, to spend with on the floor yeah. and doing stuff yeah um but every year me and him have snuck out even for 10 minutes just to get on the floor good. and just to, to do that so it's like a ritual that we yeah. do before good good every every day before we always get here and do a little few minutes thank you guys so much for coming thank you everybody get ready for season three of iZombie once you've started filming of course